Hi, welcome to uh, another vlog. Um, I was able to do this since the last time we chatted, last Thursday, one week ago. I uh, had a, a massive blockage internally and uh, had to race off in the ambulance emergency on Sunday and spent time in hospital where they had to put a tube in from my nose to my stomach, it goes down, and drain the stomach fluids. I won't go into any more detail than that. And also uh, drain that and, and other medications to get rid of the blockage. Otherwise it would be a major operation and because of a collapsed lung and a few other issues, they saw that as a high risk and didn't want to go there. And I didn't believe they would have to. Um, it's quite funny because the doctor came in, uh, the surgeon came in and said, oh, look, this is pretty serious. Uh, we've done the scans. This is in an emergency department at hospital. Um, you know, it could take at least four days before we see anything happening to be able to see that release. And uh, he walked out and within half an hour it was all happening. So, um, love beating them. Um, what I thought I'd show you today, I was going to again make something, but uh, just not up to it. I, um, but I want to show you, show and tell is just as good, hey? So just quickly, um, what's very important um, is herbal teas. And I try to drink probably between two to three litres of herbal tea a day. But it's got to do something, you know, what, what's the reason? That's one thing to drink it, but why? Why do I drink it? So let's have a look at a couple of my teas just out of, um, yeah, out of, out of this, like, nettle. Here's one, nettle tea. So nettle, back to front. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, nettle tea we've got. Um, and that has many nutrients, it's a great antioxidant, it lowers blood pressure, it helps with hay fever, and it strengthens your liver, so it's good for liver, liver health. So nettle is a very important tea. Um, another one that we use, echinacea, that's echinacea tea, so quite often I blend them, you know, like this is a blend of about three different herbal teas, and uh, Mm, I did put some peppermint in it, so it's got a nice little peppermint aftertaste. Echinacea is, is great. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Sheep sorrel. Here's a good one. I've got here uh, sheep sorrel and go-to cola. Now, sheep sorrel is great for inflammation, uh, diarrhea, and they actually used to use it hundreds of years ago as a cancer treatment. So that's horse uh, sheep sorrel. Tea. Um, then I've also got Go-To Cola in it. I don't know if you've heard of Go-To Cola. Go-To Cola reduces anxiety. It improves circulation through the body, helps with insomnia, and it boosts cognitive function. So pretty powerful. So I've mixed, as you can see, my wife did actually, not me. She's, she's the great tea mixer. So Go-To Cola, horsetail, and sheep sorrel is a mix here. Very, when you look at that, very powerful. You want to drink litres of it. <laughs> um, so that's that sheep sorrel, go to cola, nettle. Here's another one. This one is burdock root, sheep sorrel, slippery elm, and rhubarb root. Again, great stomach soothers. Uh, and you probably wonder, uh, wonder why I have, yeah, I, I'm aiming for all of those. Um, sorts of teas. Uh, of course, in the evenings, always have my chamomile tea, which is there's the chamomile flower, uh, which is also anti spasmodic, anti inflammatory, analgesic. Um, what else? Probably the, that's the main reason. So, in the evening, best time for it. So, that's sort of a very small selection of the teas. There is some more. But I thought they were sort of a little bit more interesting. What else have I got here, of course? Oh, lemongrass tea. Yep, lemongrass there. And I actually have black tea, believe it or not. I think that's <laughs> normal tea. Um, anyway, that's the teas. Another interesting thing that I have uh, a fair bit, I thought, was uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. And this one here is a, is a powdered mushroom, and it's cordyceps. So I've got a big bag of cordyceps, so you put that in with... A stock or a broth 
uh, or in anything really. In fact, I've put it in almond milk to make coffee and it works well. And Rishi, Rishi is a great mushroom. I've got some more in there, but Rishi is a, is a great one as well. So here's some good, I mean, honestly, that little selection that I've showed you many years ago, that would have been ample as in the medicine, that would have been the medicine cabinet. What I've just shown you then is probably a good example of a medicine cabinet um, many years ago. So that's where, where that's at. So anyway, um, again, another three page reports come out since the last time we spoke on when I had another CT scan, bloods uh, in hospital. A very, very painful experience actually, not just having a, an NG tube put in, but draining the stomach and uh, you know trying to clear a blockage, which wasn't pleasant. So yeah, it was a very uncomfortable time, very, very painful, extremes. Keep saying that, but when I've felt that I've had the worst pain and put up with the pain, uh, it suddenly turns around and um, there, there is, there is a lot of pain out there. But anyway, um, I believed, we believed, we prayed, and it was one of the quickest turnarounds of a severe blockage that they've ever seen. Uh, they were actually very, very impressed. I'm just gonna have another sip of this um, herbal tea, like medicines, it's good. And okay, so I'll sign off now, but I just thought I'd do a quick one, show you a few teas. But while I'm up, I'll just show you, if you're gonna have coffee, because coffee is also extremely good if you have it in moderation. Um, this is my little setup just there. So I have the coffee machine. What I've got here is uh, alkaline water. So this is where you have all the rocks. See all the rocks floating around down there, which remineralizes water. And it re yeah, it remineralizes it and makes it very healthy to drink. This machine's plumbed into a reverse osmosis filtration system. So basically you're just getting um, pure water coming out from that, but you know, infused with organic coffee. And I use a bit of organic almond milk if we don't make it. And, uh, and there you have a healthy day. So enjoy your healthy day. And next time you have a herbal tea, say, what is it? What is it doing for me? And get something different. Get some sheep sorrel or some go-to cola or something, or Herb Robert. All of those are fantastic. Okay, hope it helped. Enjoy.